We marry the game concept with an elevated kitchen and bar program. People want to play games. They are excited to come in, learn a new game, try a new drink. It's, it's exciting to see that. Totally old school vibe. I think one of the things after the pandemic that is super apparent is people are sick of talking to that magical box on their computer. They want the tangible Jenga blocks following, the arguing over the rules of Monopoly or whatever. That's what they want. They don't want you're on mute. It's energetic. You walk into a place and most restaurants have TVs and loud music playing and here you walk in and you immediately see the difference. People are playing games, they're talking to each other, they're looking at the other table and seeing what game they're playing and then they, they come over here and try to find that game where they try to join each other. So it's a really different vibe from a typical restaurant, but I think that's what we're going for. We're not the typical restaurant. 3,000 video games in there, over 500 board games, yep. a great booze selection, mm -hmm. great food, yep. it's a great space. 21 Pips is a game room and kitchen concept in Armour, Pennsylvania. The name actually comes off of Pip. The definition of a Pip can actually be two different things. One, it could be the dots on a die or a domino. If you count up how many are on a die, it's 21. And it also can be used to define a person, something you know much admired. So we really celebrate that because we believe board games can bring people together. We have over 400 games behind me in our library. We have a couple arcade machines as well. We have a 3D Pong machine. We have two ski ball machines over here, all retro. And then we have an arcade machine up in our mezzanine with hundreds of games as well. We have games in our library that can be played by one player, and we have games that can be played by over 20 players. So the tables also accommodate for that. So we can push tables together. If you're looking for a more intimate game experience and you want to chill at our bar and play a game like Uno, we have the whole variety for you. What's really cool about our concept here is our game tenders. So we've trained staff on site to learn all of these games, go through the instructions, have tips for our patrons. And when a guest recommends a classic like Jenga, we might say, hey, you like Jenga, you know Jenga. There's a cool game called Catch the Moon where you're stacking ladders rather than stacking blocks. And when you pitch a game like that, something like a game that you know, a lot of people are really open to it. And then they leave thinking like, wow, I didn't know board games could do this. Our game tenders are really great at suggesting games and they can break up fights too. So if you are arguing about a rule or whatever, they can come in there and make the piece. This is all individually installed Jenga tiles. You're looking at roughly 4,200 Jenga pieces. Put in by hand? Put in by hand. It took six full days of work. This is our bistro filet. This is one of our top selling items. In the middle, we have the Kenneth Square flatbread. We make all the dough in-house sauteed kale, a blend of mushrooms on top. As much fun as the board games are in the arcade games, we also have a little bit of fun with a blowtorch here every now and then. We do a smoked old fashioned. So this is the carry the team, basically our take on a traditional cosmopolitan. All around the space, there's little Easter eggs of game pieces. All of these tap handles are pieces from some of our favorite board games. Everywhere you look, there is a game reference. We wanted to keep spreading fun.